The Syriac alphabet is a writing system primarily used to write the Syriac language since the 1st century AD. It is one of the Semitic abjads descending from the Aramaic alphabet through the Palmyrene alphabet, and it shares similarities with the Phoenician, Hebrew, Arabic and the traditional Mongolian scripts. Syriac is written from right to left in horizontal lines. It is a cursive script where most, but not all, letters connect within a word. Spaces separate individual words. All 22 letters are consonants, although there are optional diacritic marks to indicate vowels and other features. In addition to the sounds of the language, the letters of the Syriac alphabet can be used to represent numbers in a system similar to Hebrew and Greek numerals. Besides Syriac, the alphabet has been used to write other languages. When Arabic began to be the dominant spoken language in the Fertile Crescent after the Islamic conquest, texts were often written in Arabic with the Syriac script as knowledge of the Arabic alphabet was not yet widespread. Such writings are usually called Karshuni or Garshuni. Garshuni is often used today in Neo-Aramaic writing, such as letters and flyers. Malayalam was also written with Syriac script and was called Suryani Malayalam. Alphabet forms Topic. There are three major variants of the Syriac alphabet, Estrangela, Madnaya and Serta. Topic. Classical Estrangela Topic. The oldest and classical form of the alphabet is Estrangela. Stringle the name is thought to derive from the Greek adjective strongyle, strongyle rounded. Though it has also been suggested to derive from Sert Wingli, Serta Uangelia, Gospel character. Although Estrangela is no longer used as the main script for writing Syriac, it has received some revival since the 10th century. It is often used in scholarly publications, such as the Leiden University version of the Peshitta, in titles, and in inscriptions. In some older manuscripts and inscriptions, it is possible for any letter to join to the left, and older Aramaic letter forms especially of het and the lunate mem are found. Vowel marks are usually not used with estrangela. <laughs> East Syriac Madnaya The East Syriac dialect is usually written in the Madnaya Eastern form of the alphabet. Other names for the script include swadaya, swadaya conversational, or vernacular, often translated as contemporary, reflecting its use in writing modern Neo-Aramaic, Achiraya, Assyrian, not to be confused with the traditional name for the Hebrew alphabet, Chaldaya, Chaldean, and, inaccurately, Nestorian, a term that was originally used to refer to the Church of the East in the Sasanian Empire. The Eastern script resembles Estrangela somewhat more closely than the Western script. Vowels The Eastern script uses a system of dots above or below letters, based on an older system, to indicate vowel sounds not found in the script. A dot above and a dot below a letter represent a, transliterated as a or a, called tiaha, taha. Two diagonally placed dots above a letter represent transliterated as a or a or a called scopia, scop. Two horizontally placed dots below a letter represent transliterated as e or e called urbiasa aryukia, urbasa arika or zalama suka, zalama saika, often pronounced and transliterated as i in the East Syriac dialect. Two diagonally placed dots below a letter represent e, transliterated as e, called urbiasa caria, urbasa caria, or zalama kashia, zalama kasia. The letter waw with a dot below it represents u, transliterated as u or u, called sasa alusa, alisa, or urbiasa, urbasa. The letter waw with a dot above it represents o, transliterated as o or o, called sasa ruyuha, ruia, or ruaha, ruaha. The letter yod with a dot beneath it represents i, transliterated as i or i, called biasa, habasa. A combination of urbasa caria usually followed by a letter yod represents e, possibly asterisk e, in Proto-Syriac, transliterated as e or e, called asaka, asaka. It is thought that the Eastern method for representing vowels influenced the development of the nicked markings used for writing Hebrew. In addition to the above vowel marks, transliteration of Syriac sometimes includes 
e or superscript e or often nothing at all to represent an original Aramaic schwa that became lost later on at some point in the development of Syriac. Some transliteration schemes find its inclusion necessary for showing spurantization or for historical reasons. Whether because its distribution is mostly predictable usually inside a syllable initial two consonant cluster or because its pronunciation was lost, both the East and the West variants of the alphabet have no sign to represent the schwa. Topic. West Syriac Serta Topic. The West Syriac dialect is usually written in the Serta line form of the alphabet, also known as the Sita simple Maronite or the Jacobite script although the term Jacobite is considered derogatory. Most of the letters are clearly derived from Estrangela, but are simplified, flowing lines. A cursive chancery hand is evidenced in the earliest Syriac manuscripts, but important works were written in Estrangela. From the 8th century, the simpler Serta style came into fashion, perhaps because of its more economical use of parchment. Vowels The Western script is usually vowel-pointed, with miniature Greek vowel letters above or below the letter which they follow. Capital alpha, alpha represents a, transliterated as a or a, tioho taha. Lowercase alpha, alpha represents transliterated as a or a, or a skopio skop, pronounced as o and transliterated as o in the West Syriac dialect. Lowercase epsilon, epsilon represents both transliterated as e or e and e transliterated as e, erbiozo or basa. Capital eta h represents i, transliterated as i, biozo habasa. A combined symbol of capital upsilon, upsilon and lowercase omicron, omicron represents u, transliterated as u or u. So so lowercase omega, omega used only in the vocative interjection w o. Topic summary table. Topic. The Syriac alphabet consists of the following letters shown in their isolated, non-connected forms. When isolated, the letters cap, mim, and nun are usually shown with their initial form connected to their final form see below. The letters alep, dalat, he, waw, zane, shade, rez and ta and, in early Estrangela manuscripts, the letter semcat do not connect to a following letter within a word, these are marked with an asterisk, asterisk. Topic. Contextual forms of letters Topic. Topic. Ligatures Topic. Topic. Letter alterations Topic. Topic. Matres lectionize Topic. Three letters act as matres lectionize, rather than being a consonant, they indicate a vowel. Alep, the first letter, represents a glottal stop, but it can also indicate a vowel, especially at the beginning or the end of a word. The letter waw, w is the consonant w, but can also represent the vowels o and u. Likewise, the letter yod, y represents the consonant y, but it also stands for the vowels i and e. Topic. In modern usage, some alterations can be made to represent phonemes not represented in classical phonology. A mark similar in appearance to a tilde, tilde called mylayana, magliwana is placed above or below a letter in the madnaya variant of the alphabet to change its phonetic value see also, Jeresh. Added below gamal, to d, voiced palato alveolar affricate. Added below cap, k, to, t, voiceless palato alveolar affricate. Added above or below zane, z, to, voiced palato alveolar sibilant. Added above sin, to. Topic. Rukhaka and Kasaya. Topic. In addition to foreign sounds, a marking system is used to distinguish Kasaya, q, hard, letters, from Rukhaka. Soft letters. The letters bet, gamal, dalat, cap, pe, and ta all stop consonants. 
hard are able to be sporentized lenited into fricative consonants soft the system involves placing a single dot underneath the letter to give its soft variant and a dot above the letter to give its hard variant though in modern usage no mark at all is usually used to indicate the hard value the mnemonic BATAP BGDICT is often used to remember the six letters that are able to be spurantized. See also, Bagadkafat. In the East Syriac variant of the alphabet, spurantization marks are usually omitted when they interfere with vowel marks. The degree to which letters can be spurantized varies from dialect to dialect as some dialects have lost the ability for certain letters to be spurantized. For native words, sprintization depends on the letter's position within a word or syllable, location relative to other consonants and vowels, gemination, etymology, and other factors. Foreign words do not always follow the rules for sprintization. Topic. Siam Topic. Syriac uses two usually horizontal dots above a letter within a word, similar in appearance to diaresis, called siam, sim literally, placings, also known by the Hebrew name ribui in some grammars, to indicate that the word is plural. These dots, having no sound value in themselves, arose before both Eastern and Western vowel systems as it became necessary to mark plural forms of words, which are indistinguishable from their singular counterparts in regularly inflected nouns. For instance, the word malka mil -king, is consonantally identical to its plural malk mil -kings. The siam above the word malk mil clarifies its grammatical number. Irregular plurals also receive siam even though their forms are clearly plural, e.g. beta but house, and its irregular plural bat be houses. Because of redundancy, some modern usage foregoes siam points when vowel markings are present. There are no firm rules for which letter receives siam, the writer has full discretion to place them over any letter. Typically, if a word has at least one res, then siam are placed over the res that is nearest the end of a word and also replace the single dot above it. Other letters that often receive siam are low rising letters, such as yod and nun, or letters that appear near the middle or end of a word. Besides plural nouns, siam are also placed on Plural adjectives, including participles except masculine plural adjectives, participles in the absolute state. The cardinal numbers, 2, and the feminine forms of 11 to 19, though inconsistently. And certain feminine plural verbs, the third person feminine plural perfect and the second and third person feminine plural imperfect. Mountalkyana Syriac uses a line, called mountalkyana, mountalk literally, concealer, also known by the Latin term linea occultans in some grammars, to indicate a silent letter that can occur at the beginning or middle of a word. In Eastern Syriac, this line is diagonal and only occurs above the silent letter e.g. medienta, city, pronounced medita, not asterisk medinta, with the mountalkyana over the nun, assimilating with the ta. In Western Syriac, this line is horizontal and can be placed above or below the letter e.g. medienta, city, pronounced medito, not asterisk medinto. Classically, mountalkyana was not used for silent letters that occurred at the end of a word e.g. marie mar i, my, lord. In modern Toroyo, however, this is not always the case e.g. mori mor i, my, lord. Latin alphabet and romanization Topic. In the 1930s, following the state policy for minority languages of the Soviet Union, a Latin alphabet for Syriac was developed with some material promulgated. Although it did not supplant the Syriac script, the usage of the Latin script in the Syriac community has still become widespread because most of the Assyrian diaspora is in Europe and the Anglosphere, where the Latin alphabet is predominant. As a result of westernization, the Latin alphabet has been used for Syriac writing. Some letters are altered and would feature diacritics and macrons to indicate long vowels, schwas and diphthongs. The letters with diacritics and macrons, though, are mostly upheld in educational or formal writing. 
The Latin letters below are commonly used when it comes to transliteration from the Syriac script to Latin. A is used to denote a long a sound or as heard in car. D is used to represent a voiced dental fricative. The th sound is heard in that. E is used to denote an e sound or e. E is to represent an a sound or as heard in Ninwe or mare. H represents a voiceless pharyngeal fricative h, only upheld by Toroyo and Chaldean speakers. O represents a long o sound or s as a voiceless postalveolar fricative. The English digraph shish, s denotes an emphatic s or thick s, t as an emphatic t, as heard in the word to law. 3. U is used to represent an u sound or the close back rounded vowel. U. Sometimes additional letters may be used and they tend to be. B may be used in the transliteration of Biblical Aramaic to show the voiced bilabial fricative allophone value v of the letter bet. I denotes a schwa sound, usually when transliterating Biblical Aramaic. Aramaic K is utilized for the voiceless velar fricative or the KH sound. T is used to denote the TH sound or the voiceless dental fricative. Topic Unicode topic The Syriac alphabet was added to the Unicode standard in September, 1999 with the release of version 3.0. Additional letters for Syriani Malayalam were added in June, 2017 with the release of version 10.0. Topic blocks topic The Unicode block for Syriac is U plus 0700 U plus 074 F. The Syriac abbreviation a type of overline can be represented with a special control character called the Syriac abbreviation mark U plus 070 F. The Unicode block for Syriani Malayalam specific letters is called the Syriac supplement block and is U plus 0860 U plus 086 F. Topic HTML code table topic Note, HTML numeric character references can be in decimal format and hashtag DDDD winking face, or hexadecimal format and hashtag ek winking face. For example, an hash 1813, and an hash x0715, 1813 in decimal both represent U plus 0715, Syriac, letter, Deloth. Topic Alep, Bet topic topic Vowels and Unique Characters topic topic See also topic Abjad Alphabet Aramaic Alphabet Aramaic Language Mandaic Language Mongolian Script Sogdian Alphabet Syriac Language Syriac Malayalam Old Uyghur Alphabet History of the Alphabet List of Writing Systems topic Notes topic topic References topic topic Source topic Coakley, J. F. 2002. Robinson's Paradigms and Exercises in Syriac Grammar 5th ed. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-926129-1. Hatch, William An Album of Dated Syriac Manuscripts. Boston, The American Academy of Arts and Sciences, reprinted in 2002 by Gorgias Press. ISBN 1-931956-53-7. Kiras, George The Syriac Dot, A Short History. Piscataway, N.J., Gorges Press. ISBN 978-1-4632-0425-9. Michaelis, Ioannis Davides Grammatica Syriaca. Nestle, Eberhard Syrish Grammatic MIT Literature, Crestomathy und Glosser. Berlin, H. Ruthers Verlagsbuchhandlung. Translated to English as Syriac Grammar with Bibliography, Christomathy and Glossary, by R. S. Kennedy. London, Williams and Norgate 1889. Noldick, Theodor and Julius Euding 1880. Kurzgefasste Syrisch Grammatik. Leipzig, T. O. Weigel. Translated to English as Compendious Syriac Grammar, by James A. Crichton. London, Williams and Norgate 1904. 2003 edition, ISBN 1-57506-050-7. Phillips, George 1866. A Syriac Grammar. Cambridge, Dayton, Bell, and Co., London, Bell and Daldy. Robinson, Theodore Henry 1915. Paradigms and Exercises in Syriac Grammar. Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-926129-6. Rudder, Joshua. Learn to Write Aramaic, a Step-by-Step -step Approach to the Historical and Modern Scripts, N.P., CreateSpace Independent Publishing Platform, 2011. 220 pp. ISBN 978-1461021421 includes the Estrangela pp. 59-113, Madnaya pp. 191-206, and the Western Cerdo pp. 173-190 scripts. Siegel, J. B. 1953. 
The Diacritical Point and the Accents in Syriac. Oxford University Press, reprinted in 2003 by Gorgias Press. ISBN 1-59333-032-4. Thaxton, Wheeler M. Introduction to Syriac. Bethesda, Maryland, Ibex Publishers, Inc. ISBN 0-936347-98-8. Topic external links topic The Syriac Alphabet at Omniglot.com The Syriac Alphabet at Ancientscripts.com Unicode Entity Codes for the Syriac Script Meldo Fonts for Syriac How to Write Aramaic, Learn the Syriac Cursive Scripts Aramaic and Syriac Handwriting Estrangela Classical Learn Assyrian Syriac Aramaic Online Madnaya Eastern New Freefont Unicode Font Family with Syriac Range in its sans serif face. Learn Syriac Latin Alphabet on Wikiversity.